Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Meghan Markle, it looks like you are stepping forward and looking after your man. Y'all, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, the palace has been having fun talking trash to Harry about Harry, right? First Charles, in my opinion, tried to distract from the fact that that little pay for when he was taking money and hefty plastic, uh, plastic bags and Scotland Yard looked the other way because why not? They're the king, right? Um, he tried to distract from that news in the press. You know how it is. You give like something to the press and then they just ignore your bad things. Unfortunately, he still thought it was 2016 and he could just fork over Harry. What was the story? Oh my God, Harry's going to be... No, first of all, Will and Kate are an embarrassment. And I said, okay, that's true. I'm paraphrasing. So I'm going to have a sit down with Balmoral and let them know the future of the monarchy. And also, Harry is going to be um, coming for a secret meeting. And I said, it's so secret. You're putting this in the press. And again, these were the headlines. So when you read the article, right, I'm getting to the point, but let me just set this up for you in case you don't know where I'm going. When you read the article, it was basically like Charles's imaginary meeting with Harry because they had not reached out to Harry. They were not talking to Harry. They, Harry doesn't mess with them. And then they said, even though there is literally no correspondence between the two people that are going to have the meeting, pal palace aides are busy undertaking the undertaking. Okay. So he used Harry for press. And then he had the nerve to say, but guess what? Right. Megan's not invited to Charles's imaginary meeting. You know, Williams people jumped in too. Williams enraged at Ch Harry. He'll never talk to him. There's no way Charles is taking the meeting. I said, oh, really, right? To add insult to injury, they then put out a bunch of articles uh, basically saying that um, Harry, if he comes to the UK, is going to have to ask for permission to stay at a royal property because, you know, they want the world to know Harry isn't one of us. To which I'm like, are you guys that stupid? You don't realize that Harry not being one of you is the reason we love you so much? Well, not them, but the reason we love Harry and Meghan so much? I mean, you know, <laughs> I love Meghan Markle. I was a big fan of Suits. But do you realize that if Harry was part of this monarchy and all the stuff they're doing, we'd be dragging him too, or at least I would, okay? Again, the monarchy is the problem. They even said, Prince Harry is not planning on seeing King Charles or Prince William when he returns to Britain on the eve of his first anniversary of Queen's death and will not be accompanied by his wife, Meghan Markle. It has been reported. The Duke of Sussex is set to fly out from California to London to make an appearance at the event for the charity Well Child, celebrating the achievements and resilience of seriously ill youngsters. But get this. They said the war ceremony will take place just a day before the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's passing on September 8th. But the prince has no intention to see his brother or father. There's more. Uh, the, speaking of the prince's quick stopover in the UK, an insider told the mirror, hmm, you notice ever since Harry sold, uh, literally is suing the tabloids, now they don't say oh, uh, palace source. They say an insider. You see, they switch that up real quick. While some may suggest it'd be a good order for the family to settle their differences, perhaps even in the late Queen's memory, things are a long way off. The source added relationships are firmly rooted at rock bottom, okay? And that he's going to have to ask permission if he wants to stay there. He's going to be forced to ask the palace for permission if he wants to stay on a royal estate when he returns to the UK early next month. Now listen, just between me and you, um, William kicked Charles out of his Welsh estate and he put that bad boy up on Airbnb. I made a video about it. I'm not even joking. Those greedy, instead of making it any type of thing or even like to have a lottery, like each day, one lucky resident of the UK is selected to stay at the King's quarters, like something fun, something. Let me stop giving them ideas. I saw that place. Um, that place looks like Anne's place, which looks like Harry's old place, which probably looks like Will and Kate's place. Baby, nobody cares about staying at the UK royal properties because they all look stupid. If he doesn't uh, uh, check into the Grand Budapest Hotel and have people waiting on him hand to foot. Anyway, they said he's going to have to ask for permission um, uh, when he returns to the UK early next month. After him and Megan were evicted from Frogmore Cottage, y'all, they said 
Uh, uh, let me just stop, right? Because they're saying while in the UK, Harry now has to request access to an apartment on one of the royal estates or alternatively stay with friends or at a hotel. The last time he stayed at his former marital home was in June when he was in London. Not only was he in London, he actually packed up the last of his stuff and left. The fact that they think Harry is pressed, but I'll tell you one person that was like, y'all gonna stop messing with my man, Megan V. Markle. Y'all, Megan literally popped up to let us know that, baby, you talking about I'm not invited? You want to sit here and mess with Harry in the headlines? Y'all think it's going to be a pile on free for all while he's at the Invictus Games and also, well, child, baby, guess what? You thought again. Remember I said me and Harry are salt and pepper? Well, guess what? Salt and pepper's here and we're here in effect. What? You, listen, Megan announced that she will be attending way more of the Invictus Games and that she will be joining Harry for the bulk of the trip and they will be flying back. Oh, don't believe me? Oh, my Scooby just dropped these facts. Y'all, hold on. Get this. It has been confirmed. <laughs> Let me repeat that because, you guys, let's just take a minute. I'm going to get to the report. Also, hit that like and subscribe button, you guys. Sussex Squad, y'all know I'm trying to grow. You know, we all need a bestie to FaceTime us. Anyway, consider me your bestie on podcast time. Anyway, I find it funny because they really thought, they really thought that when Harry came to UK, it was going to be a free for all. They were going to make up rumors about, oh my God, there's trouble between Harry and Meghan. Oh my God. Did you see Will basically like <laughs> turn his nose up in disgust? That's because he was thinking about how Meghan left Harry alone, how they were going to harass him, how are they going to do this, and how they're going to basically try to embarrass him. I mean, at this point, instead of doing fake photo ops and doing anything, even faking like they had work to do, they literally just get all their joy and delight from harassing Harry. You know, it's actually sad, but in the fact that Mer Meghan and Harry exist, the royal family is going to go to H-E double hockey sticks, not because anything they do, just because of them existing and the royal family can't get over it. It makes William and Kate insane insane incandescent with rage that harry continues to smile and megan looks oh so beautiful and every year that passes megan is benjamin buttons right and kate is i don't know kate, i don't know i'm just saying it's becoming more and more evident whenever kate allegedly misses her um can i say that refresh appointment or whatever kate's doing to her face you know the funny thing is i finally figured out and I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Why Kate looks so weird in pictures. Kate, I think, I think 100% Kate Botoxes, right? If she isn't Botox, she does something similar to Botox. Like that's not Nivea cream on her face at night. But I think she tries to make it natural to make her face still move because, you know, she thinks she can emote. I don't know why. And because she has parts of her face that looks like paralyzed, are you seeing where I'm going with this? When she emotes, that's when you get the weird, like, eyebrows are raising the end. But it, it's just oh, odd. Anyway, let's get into this. They said Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will both be attending the closing ceremony at this year's Invictus Games. It's confirmed on Thursday and claims she will not be in the UK with Harry the, for Queen Mary Steph. Let me tell y'all something. Is Harry going to be there or is he just going to go to his grandmother's grave and kiss her and wish her, like, n Nana, like, sleep in peace? That's a serious question. Maybe Harry is planning on going privately and paying respects to the grave. Because, I mean, they had a close uh, relationship. To me, his grandmother was evil and upheld an evil system. But I guess she was nice to him. I don't know. The legacy is in how much she embraced Lilibeth and Archie. I know everybody's like, oh, no, she loved Lilibeth and Archie. I do believe she could have done more the last two years to actually make sure that they were firmly ensconced in the royal. Let's not forget, Queen Elizabeth took away all of Harry's titles. Queen Elizabeth reassigned his military appointments. Queen Elizabeth said that they couldn't be half in or half out. I guess Harry has a complicated relationship with his family because living or alive, nobody but his mama was worth, an, was worth a penny. But I guess in terms of Charles, Camilla, William, and Kate, his grandmother treated him the best, so I guess it's a trauma bond. 
At least that's what I think. Okay, close friend and confidant of the Sussex Omen, Scooby posted news on social media saying that while Harry will attend the entire games, Megan will join him later on. I think they actually gave the date or it's speculated the date is the 9th. And anyway, she's coming out way early. She was just going to come out for closing ceremonies. She's coming out way earlier than that. And I think they're keeping it up in the air because they want to keep the royal family. You guessed it. Guessing. And on their hind the right? Anyway, she's going to join them later. They confirmed that Meghan are delighted to be attending the Invictus Games 2003. Harry will be there from the start and Meghan will join him later on in the competition. They'll both be at closing ceremonies. Meghan's moved her trip up. She said, oh, if it's a scandal you want, if it's headlines you want, if it's anything you want, baby, I'll give it to you. And I'm bringing my closet and I'm bringing my new makeup and I'm bringing my new hair. Kate, make sure you take notes, sweetie pie. I know you are. Y'all, this is some amazing news, right? Um, This is after they said it comes as it emerged this week that Harry will be returning to the UK on the eve of the anniversary of the late Queen Elizabeth's death. Meghan expected to miss the opening ceremony of the sporting event for wounded military personnel. Mm, okay, it's going to be fun. But she will fly to Europe and join husband shortly after the event. Mm. Which we'll see. Why is she missing open ceremonies? I want to know. Well, you know why? I can understand why. And that this is, this is just my opinion. It's miss, it's Harry's thing. And while it's great for them to be together, and you know, she supports him wholeheartedly, this is Harry's thing. I think it's a very great thing for him. It's almost like when Harry had his book. Megan took the back seat. Just like when Megan is going to have something big, Harry's going to have to take the back seat. And by back seat, I mean like, let all the pictures be of Harry. Let it be this. Let it be of Harry's work and legacy. And then she joins later. I think it's a brilliant idea. And I know everybody is mad. And Kate has her pencils out. Kate's stylist, hairdresser, and makeup person are all on speed dial. Quick waiting for a personality, Katie. Forget about Rose <laughs> or the rose bushes outside your house and the way Rose played you. Y'all, listen, get ready for a fashion show. Get ready for hysterics. Get ready for the news media to descend. At this point, they should just say thank you to Meghan and Harry for keeping the lights on at every tabloid in the UK. Anyway, Sussex Squad, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later.